for all of you asking for shorter versions of my videos, here you go. I'll be sharing a new three minute video every single week. This beast of a TV stand came from my sister who's updating her home, so she just gave it to me. Isn't she so nice? I started this makeover by cleaning it and then I removed the hardware and labeled it. I didn't want to put these door stopper doodad things back on, so I filled those holes in as well. And then I primed everything with Ben Shellac Base Primer. I sprayed it on with my HVLP sprayer, but I really should have rolled it on to get it into the wood grain. The primer revealed all of these rustic details of this TV stand, so I filled all of those in with some basic wood filler. When the wood filler was dry, I sanded it all down smooth with 220 grit sandpaper. I'll spare you all of the details of how I tried to spray a few different types of primer before I finally just sucked it up and just rolled the bin primer on. After I rolled on the primer, I sanded it all smooth again with 220 grit sandpaper and after 176 coats of primer, <laughs> I was finally ready for the paint. Okay, that was an exaggeration, but whatever. I poured some Sherwin-Williams Emerald Urethane Trim Enamel into my paint sprayer and mixed it with some water to make it thinner and better to spray. Then I sprayed it and it sprayed so good. But after two coats of white paint, there were some problem areas where bleed through was showing. So I primed those areas with more bin primer. I also didn't like the chalky feel of the satin sheen, so I switched to the same stuff but in a semi-gloss sheen instead. I sprayed the semi-gloss sheen on and it was so much better. Then I moved on to the finishing touches. I painted the old black hardware with some gold spray paint, and then I wanted something a little bit different, so I added some cane webbing. I cut it to size, then I soaked it in some warm water, and then I stapled it into the opening of the middle door. Then I put everything back together and put on the new gold knobs. I love how this looks now, completely transformed from dark and rustic to bright, modern, and trendy. I love the look and feel of this paint, and the best part is that it didn't need a top coat at all. I'll catch you next week for another short makeover.